sunshine, mild temperatures, and a holiday week. Everyone from beach safety to the lodging industry is feeling pretty good right now. West Tuesday's Dave McDaniel looks at the positive vibes over in Volusia County. And, uh, enjoying the weather. He and thousands of others, the beach has been predictably busy. We are expecting those very large crowds. We will have the lifeguard towers out here. Make sure you're swimming in front of those lifeguard towers. Combine a mild week with nearly perfect weather, and this is what you have. And with only a moderate risk of rip currents, all has been relatively calm. We've been at capacity in some of those core areas, but everything was uh, pretty low key. Everything was pretty quiet. The folks at Beach Safety want everybody to have an absolutely great time on the beach, but they have these reminders. No glass, no alcohol, and absolutely no fireworks. They're strictly prohibited on the beach. They are, it is a fine or an arrestable offense. Florida is a great place to be. The folks at the Lodging and Hospitality Association says it's clear a lot of people agree with her. Ontario, Michigan, Iowa, Texas, South Carolina, Georgia, they're coming from all over. His parking lot license plate review has him bullish on what's going on right now. They're tired of being in the house, they're taking their uh, masks with them, they're taking their protocol with them, and the beach is doing fantastic this week. Davis says some of the members are amending their New Year's celebrations due to COVID, others are holding traditional events. Business travel is still a little sluggish, but for those who love a beach vacation, we're winding up with one of our greatest um, uh, sales tax and bed tax collections we've ever seen, ever. In Daytona Beach, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. Extra ramps are open so that people can access the beach. People are asked to set up chairs and umbrellas on the water side of travel lanes where driving is allowed. It's safer that way.